This interview is from Chat City, Press and FM's mid-morning magazine show, live weekdays from 10 till noon. Chat City on this uh, Thursday morning, Press and FM 103.2. The voice of Preston and South Ribble supporting local people and communities. And uh, right now, I'm hoping to talk to Karen uh, from Lancashire Cycle Challenge. So, Karen, are you there? I am, Huey. Good morning. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. What about you? Very good, thank you. Uh, a bit disappointed with the weather, it has to be said. It's not the best for cyclists, but uh, we're hoping for another bright sunny and warm summer just like we had last year for the cycle challenge well certain certainly i'm keeping my fingers crossed because i do love sunshine and warm sunny days i can tell you karen karen before we talk about the challenge just tell us a little about uh, about lancashire cycle challenge how long has it been going uh, well, basically, this is the second year back in Lancashire, um, having worked alongside Lancashire County Council last year. Um, we're actually a company called Challenge for Change, um, operating out of Bristol. Um, and we've been brought along by the council to encourage more people and uh, workplaces to get involved in the Cycle Challenge, which is all about people just getting on a bike for just one 10 minute period at any time during the three week challenge window and being with a chance of winning some great group and individual prizes right and uh, the dates that the challenge is running from yeah it's running from the 16th of june until the 6th of july and during that period we've got various things going on from um a road show um, in both Preston and Lancaster on the 26th and 27th of June. And uh, we've got, we're have got we working with various workplaces who are already signed up um, and bringing uh, events, bike mechanics and things like that to them also. Right. Do you know the venues uh, in Preston and Lancashire for the road show? Yeah. Um, in Preston, it's going to be on the flag market in front of the library. And we're going to have various things there, try a bike, uh, bike mechanic, uh, bike uh, register marking from the police. Uh, we've got a personal trainer coming along as well, as well as some other freebies and giveaways. And in Lancaster, uh, the following day on the Friday, it's going to be at Dalton Square. Right. So uh, what's behind it all then, Karen? Is it particularly around keeping fit? Is it about becoming, uh, you know, in love with your bike after you've not ridden it for many years and it's rusting in the shed? <laughs> that, the, the, the latter part is, is definitely it, Huey. Um, a lot of people take advantage of the cycle to work scheme, the, the buy a bike. Um, with their employers and then do leave it rusting in a shed or the like and don't actually get on it, n not just for commuting to work, but just for pleasure at all. And um, the Love to Ride format is all about uh, change behaviour. And that is that if you get somebody trying something that is enjoyable, um, you know, the kind of thing that they used to do when they were kids, and you get them trying it for just a short period of time, they'll actually remember how much they love it and carry on doing it. And our um, stats from last year certainly bear that out. And, and uh, the challenge is for, it's for individuals, it's for groups of people, it's for families, etc.? Yeah, the only people that are that are unfortunately excluded are those under 16 years old. Um, it's uh, unfortunately we, we don't have. We've got into a generation now where we're unlike when we were younger. Uh, we were used to cycling around, and that we've become very dependent on cars. So it's more about targeting the adults now who perhaps either haven't tried cycling before or haven't tried cycling for some period of time and just reminding them just how much fun it is and getting them back out on bikes. Mm. So that's, what, that's one of the reasons for the workplace-based element as well is the competitive edge to it so that, you know, workplaces can get together and uh, challenge each other. So that, uh, you know, say, for example, if you wanted to take on one of your local radio stations, <laughs> your rivals, you know, you could see how many you could have rival teams from different companies as well as within the same company as well. Right. So I take it you're a keen cyclist, Karen? 
I am, yes. I suppose I've kind of been brought up on it. Um, I used to cycle to school when I was younger. Uh, that involved um, up Kitlinbourne Brow, which if you're local, you'll know is, is quite a steep hill. Whether I actually made it up on bike or not is another matter. Um, but as a family, uh, we like going out cycling. We've made sure that our seven-year-old is a very competent cyclist from a young age. And I think, as I say, it's the whole model that love to ride work on is that it's uh, reminding people that if they, they start this thing young or if they get back into it they'll actually remember just how enjoyable it is and the prizes incentives that are linked to the challenge just make it even more worthwhile mm. and um, what about because i mean these days often because of what we hear in the media etc and the dangers on the roads how difficult is it you just mentioned your son how difficult is it to uh, maybe go out for a bike ride as a family with the children along well thankfully there are quite a few organized rides around nowadays one of uh, which we're hooking up with on sunday um, at preston college for our media launch and that is the sky ride locals and that basically means that you can involve anybody that you like you know family friends or anything like that um, and they usually uh, look at doing routes around the local area that are very safe and family friendly and away from the from the um, uh, traffic and stuff like that so uh, yes it's uh, it, 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 yeah, there are dangers on the road but um, the um, the well qualified leaders that Skyride Local put out on these make sure that they are very safe organised events. And luckily here in Preston uh, I walk, I do cycle but I walk nearly every day parts of the Guild Wheel and I mean the Guild Wheel is brilliant for cyclists, a lot of it is off road isn't it? Exactly yeah and the um, Skyride Local on Sunday which sets off from Preston College is actually using the north part of the Guild Wheel. I mean, we haven't done it yet because with a seven-year-old and 22 miles, <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge. But you can use, we've certainly used parts of it down at the Rivers Way, the Docklands, down at Avonham Park, and obviously over at the beautiful Brockholes as well. You don't have to do all of it. You can just use parts of it. But it's fantastic for being safe and away from traffic and stuff like that. Right. Karen, I've not been given your surname and a little late in the interview to be asking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Karen. What is your surname, Karen? It's Karen Harvey. Harvey. Okay. And uh, you've been involved then for some time um, in in trying to get people out there on their bikes. Yeah, as I say, it's um, it's a, a seasonal contract really that has been with the, we've been working with the council on this year as well as last year. And uh, thankfully, I mean, this challenge takes place in many towns and cities across the UK and worldwide. And we're very lucky to have the cycle challenge at this time of year, which basically kicks, kicks off from April until mid-July. Because, of course, uh, fair weather is much more likely to be get people on bicycles mm -hmm. than if you're running this kind of challenge in March, for example. That, so, yeah, yes. it's, it's, it's a limited thing that uh, Lancashire County Council has been doing just over the past couple of years. And um, there'll be a huge data collection process Great. after the challenge is finished, whereby they'll be able to go away and uh, hopefully look at um, investing in uh, facilities for cyclists with a bike hub in the middle of Preston, uh, which is uh, being looked at in collaboration with Preston Council, um, and any other improvements to... Ah, we've lost Karen. Now, I know Karen's son's listening downstairs, so uh, maybe he can nip up and tell his mum we've lost her. But there you are, that's the Lancashire Cycle Challenge Race, and uh, it's taking place between the 16th of uh, June to the 6th of July. And uh, that was Karen Harvey I was talking to there from Lancashire Cycle Challenge. And you can also go along to the flag market to the road show on the 26th and the 27th of June. So, so, uh, Karen, thank you for talking to me this morning. And uh, a big hello to your son who's listening downstairs. OK, thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this interview as much as we have. Why not join our Chat City family and give us a tweet at Chat City PFM.